Good morning. Hotel Cracker Barrel, Morristown, Tennessee. Man, gotta wake up. Slept on the edge of a mountain tonight. I'll sleep on Sunset Strip. Next week it's down on Coco Beach and then back on the road in Route 666. It is 69 degrees out. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful out today. Very grateful. Hopefully tomorrow will be equally as beautiful. Maybe even a little nicer for our movie release party that we're having. And I'm looking forward to that. Man, I've never done one of those before. Actually, I have done one of those before. But it was not a very good movie. And it was, uh, yeah, it's for a hell scream haunted house thing we did. And that was fun. It was packed. So if we can be even close to that, then perfect. Ah, boy, here we are again. And one of the 26 by 36s? Yeah. Okay. That's cool paper, too. Yeah. really cool ah. I haven't been to a food city in a few months I'm literally just here for Starbucks and to take a poop so Starbucks is only taking cash private cash fun 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 why is this toilet tilted? Weird. Man, if this weather is like this tomorrow, it'll be uh, be wonderful. I mean, we're gonna be out there all night tomorrow, so it may get a little chilly at night, but yeah, I'm excited about this. This is where we film the uh, iconic F.U. Luke and watermelon smash scene. Somewhere around here, there's a Watermelon rind. <laughs> Probably covered in bugs. We did that. I just recently, as you may know if you watch this, stayed with uh, the Vineyards, Vinny, Julie, Greta, for and Demo Dog for uh, almost a month and a half. Very, very awesome experience hanging with these people, and I'm glad to be back. I know that guy. What's up, beautiful? What are you all dressed up for? I got an appointment today. How long are you going to be gone? About two hours. Really? That's why it's important. All right. To communicate. Anybody home? Yeah, Julie. Have you checked your phone? No. I've it? been communicating. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I just got to get this done. This was... It's, it's cool. Outside of my wheelhouse of shit. But when I get back, we will make out and hug. Okay, like 1999. Trying to figure out what's mowing the grass there. Is that a robot mowing? Yeah. We are back at Yoder's. I love me some Yoder's. It's almost three o'clock, so I can eat. Yay! I'm still doing the between three and eight thing, and it's working. Dropped 20 pounds already, and I'm trying not to gain it all back in Tennessee. This is where I gained it in the first place, so yeah. Thank you much. All right. What did you get? Get, in, get into your food like that, yeah. I don't know you. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Yeah. Did you get two different types of meat? I did. I just ham and turkey and double turkey. The damn swip says pick one. One of the best things in this area is store. Checking out the grain. Yeah, they're making some grain. Go get a handful of that shit. Say, hey, can I have a handful of your grain? Yeah, I don't have to buy grape nuts for a year. I won't have to buy grain for a year. This is perfect. Civil, Civil War, War Trail. Oh, look at this. Trails or trials? Uh, I'm just Bethesda. Cemetery cleanup one week prior to Easter. Oh, there's all kinds of. Oh, this is awesome. We can go get some. What is that? Wheat over there? Pot. We can get some some we weed. Drink the Morlocks, the Stapletons, the Wolves, and the Studs, and the the Bibles here. This is where the Bible went to die. Schrader Bible again. There's some Johns here. There's a click. Well, Sam you're not cool enough to be in there. Presbyterian Church, organized in 1832 by John Campbell. Mick Campbell. Dr. John, do you? Dr. Freaking John, first pastor, Dr. Nathaniel, Reverend Benjamin, and all kinds of shit. Confederate hospital during the Civil War. Dude, I love Civil War history and, and Revolutionary War history and all that. I mean, the American Revolution. So, I don't know if this is interesting to you, but that... There was a cannonball that went through this church. Oh, and they stuck a weight in there? <laughs> it looks like a dumbbell, but that thing goes all the way across. It's kind of a support uh, oh, sure. apparatus where they basically, it was like a giant screw. It's like a dumbbell. They just tightened it up to make sure the, the structure wouldn't fall to pieces. So before they had bricks, they could have just put bricks Who in there? Who knows why they did that? I hate the North. Ugh. I'm kidding. <laughs> Tell people I didn't really just do that. Look at that. It's got like all the words are worn off on there now. There's nothing there. I love Dukes of Hazard and Day, and I had a huge Confederate flag all across my bedroom wall, but I didn't have it because of any reason outside of the Dukes of Hazard. Uh -huh. It's true. Sure. As a child. I mean, what do we got in? What do we got in here? These are the babies. Oh, the old babies in here? Oh. These are poor babies. Judah infant. Last time I was here pre COVID. Oh, I've missed this. I've just missed being out doing stuff. Vintage Restoration Station. What are you doing? I'm filming your shop. So what I do with this is a voiceover show. And uh, I just take pictures and I get the tag and find out what it was worth back then. Just kind of do this, you know. But cool thing I can fix whatever, you know, because it's a voiceover show. And none of this will be used. 150 bucks. Ain't me if I were still a good friend of yours, I would absolutely buy this for you. Lita, yeah, she's a huge Pee Wee fan. That is your mom's name, isn't it? Yeah. This, is, this could have been her belt buckle. <laughs> <line. laughs> I think, yeah, it's a pain in the, in the tush. Do I have your consent? <laughs> you are in an antique store. Oh, God. Oh, it's right now. Okay. <laughs> Did a quick little episode of Thrift to the 80s. My mom really likes that show. So the more, I think I have like 10 of them to put together. 11 now. What is all this stuff? God, I wonder what bands or families own this thing. I wish the people were here. This is fantastic. Oh, it's 30K, you can buy this thing. 
factory custom coach conversion, extremely rare. Diesel conversion motor, I guess it runs? 10,000 miles driven, called Jake. You're kidding me, you can buy this? Oh my God, it looks nice inside. Look at that. Gosh darn boat. I'll take that trailer, put a tiny house on it. Look at these shades. Yeah, spider webs. Yeah, spider webs everywhere. I wanna look in there. Do you, do you see that one though? That one's the best one here. Look at that, I could live in that thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. I was looking for spiders outside. The vineyards are like the host. Their house is the host to these Beetlejuice spiders with black and white striped legs. I'm not making this crap up. They're horrifying. I've killed two of them the last time I was here. And I've seen another one. They said another one came back that was killed. I hate them. They're disgusting. Thankfully, the bugs are not as bad as they were last time I was here. Bye, Julie. Bye, baby. How's he Bye, Demo. I will see you soon, buddy. You're the cutest. Enjoy your bone bone. What the hell you got going on out here? Well, don't show the fucking the magic sausage behind. before it's made. Yeah, look at this sausage. You're making this is sausage. It's a very private situation. I want to know what that is. Don't even worry about it. It's your birthday present, son. He's making dildos. Jesus, oh. God, help us on the cross. <laughs> All right, I am leaving the vineyard's house again. Last time was a little, little more sad because I spent so long there today. I just spent like a day and a half here, but, um, and, and I will see them at the party, which I'm going to head off to after I stop at, you know where I'm going, Bucky's. I got to get some treats for the, for the mom and her husband, Ron, get some Bucky treats. I know they'll love them. So we're going to load up on some Bucky's plus by the time I get there, it'll be three o'clock so I can eat at Bucky's. And, um, yeah, man, it's going to be my first meal of the day. Eating between 3 and 8, and that's it. It's a fasting thing, and it works for me. I can pretty much eat whatever I want, as long as I don't go too crazy. It is a Friday at Bucky's, so I imagine it's going to be hell on earth, but... Whatever, it's still Bucky's. Yeah, this place is cram-packed, and that sucks. It's bad enough being cram-packed with people, but these are Tennessee people. Unfortunately, this is the only time and day I can get to Bucky's. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> this is horrible. And this is the biggest Bucky's in the in the world, and it's uh, still too populated. Club melts are the best. One thing I've never done is actually order food from these little food ordering places. They got all kinds of stuff here. Is there more than this? I don't know. I don't see anything I really want. I want some chickens. I think I want a six foot inflatable Bucky. I think my mom would be upset with me, but it's whatever. There's Mr. Bucky again. Have a good day, Bucky. So yeah, <laughs> my throat said uh, no. I'm leaving Bucky's far behind, full of beaver meat, and heading to the Chatterbox, where we actually filmed the end part of the movie, the big concert scene, and um, great people up there, Dee and her husband, they're awesome people, and uh, they actually called us to see if we wanted to do a movie release party, why are we stopping people, seriously, what are we, what are we doing, nobody else is slowing down, just uh, there's nobody in front of you. Why was that person like slamming on its brakes? Are you stupid? He's 90, but anyway, back to the point. <laughs> Chatterbox is awesome. It's in Knoxville, Tennessee. Cool little bar. 
uh, just just a bar, man. It's like an outdoor stage and everything. If you saw the movie, that's where we filmed the concert stuff with hugs and everything. And it was a really cool night to do that. I'm not nervous or particularly even excited about tonight. Uh, I don't think there'll be a whole bunch of people there. If there are, fantastic. If there's not, whatever. I'm still going home tonight. Uh, after the event, I'm going to uh, drive as far as I can to uh, my mom's house in that direction and just pull over whenever I get tired. And uh, here we are, the little chatterbox. Love this place. It's the historic chatterbox, it is now. And that's where we're showing the movie, right there. I would like to have at least 50 to 100 people out here, that'd be nice. I like putting my logo in different places. Yay. That's all right. Zabby. That's TCBY yogurt right there. Fuck yeah. I love that stuff. Is there no more TCBY yogurt? Free bird. So we're here. I haven't gotten dressed yet, but I'm going to. Luke Walker, right there, playing some guitar. We got vendors loading in. All the audio videos all set up and ready to go. We got a couple more vendors coming and then we got to put up some uh, caution tape and uh, no smoking signs because I refuse to have anybody smoke around me. <laughs> it's my event, nobody's smoking here. Look at this bag of ham. <laughs> you gotta love Lou Walker. What do you got here? This looks awesome. I like all of this stuff. Look at you. Look at this fucking Cadillac. Why did I say fucking? Look at this fucking Cadillac. You got a fucking Cadillac of shit, yo. I got a Cadillac? You got a fucking Cadillac. Maybe I will after this. Let's hope it's not as big of a bomb scare as the Super Ultra Megacon was. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I got dressed. It is what it is tonight. I Taco truck's not here. Where's the freaking taco truck? Huh? Like I need to eat anything else. Somebody just honked at me, so somebody's here. Who's that right there that just honked at me? I don't know. Oh, it's the Twitch man. Should've known that was you. <laughs> How are you, man? How are you? We got people scattering in. It's nice. Again, I don't think it's gonna be a very populated event, but you uh, you get what you get, right? I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee. I know nobody here <laughs> whatsoever. There's about 10 people that I know are coming, so that's good, but you know, 50 people in a place like this will make it look packed. Oh, look at this guy up here. He's handsome. Yeah, he's just showing off up here. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Beautiful guy. I know. I'm not gonna bug you. It's like looking at you. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. About this raging fire. <laughs> All right. What's the name of this place so I can promote them? Juan's Tacos. Cool. Oh, they make tacos like they're supposed to be made. I think. Definitely gonna have to partake a little later. Twins are on their way, we're all matching. That is the best thing ever, Kirby, you're the best. All right, we're about to do a little introduction. Luke is jamming. We got about 50 people here. Kind of what I was expecting, to be honest with you. Still more on the way, though. The people are just stuck in traffic and lost and... It's GPS, man, follow the blue line. It's your movie, don't be without. This, you are what, the, uh, you know, that's mine. You are writer, director, is this correct? Yes, sir. Beautiful. And, Behind him, the funk master, the Vinny in Vinny's fantastic rock and roll adventure. Thank you, Lance. You're the best. Man, this mic smells like beer now. Wow. It's like a, that's like a, smell this. It's 
Smells like Lance's house. Smell, it does smell like Lance's house. He said that, Lance, anyways. Hi, how's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Who needs Man's Chinese Theater when we've got the freaking Chatterbox, right? The other places where they do movie premieres, just so you know. Oh. Anyways, thank you for coming. Uh, we're doing two movies tonight. The first one is a hee hee ha ha comedy. The second one is a hoo hoo boo boo scary comedy. Even though Luke says it's not a comedy, it is definitely a comedy. Anything with Vinny in it and anything with Luke in it is a freaking comedy. Sorry, Luke. It's uh, that's just how it is. So the first one, we uh, come in here. What are you doing? I, just, I like this. I, I like your musk. All right. The first movie is called Vinny's Fantastic Rock and Roll Adventure. A lot of you were in it. You've only seen a little bit of it. Some of you have seen it on a side TV. This one we literally filmed all the way down Route 66 from Chicago to LA. You smell like Lance's apartment. Thank you. <laughs> Lance has a very good smelling apartment. That's what we're getting at. And uh, we filmed in Colorado, all over here in Tennessee. We filmed in Las Vegas. 37 cities we filmed this movie in. And uh, we had a very good time making it, and uh, we are going to have a very good time showing it to you once I turn off these disco lights. So while I'm doing that, Vinny? Brandon Bishop, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, ladies. And gay dudes. Uh, I want to thank the Chatterbox for letting us have an event here. This is a nice little turnout. I appreciate everybody coming out. We hope you enjoy these movies. Um, I gotta say, Brandon Bishop is really the one that was behind this first one, this Vinny's movie, it's got my name in it, but it's really Brandon's baby, and it's his life story. It's how he got abducted, and he was the Charles Lindbergh baby, I don't know if you remember that, and how he defeated Al-Qaeda. It's something like that. It's a, it's a road comedy, we hope you dig it. It's about the band Hugs. Anybody see the movie WJHCAM? All right. If you remember the Kiss knockoff band Hugs, Brandon liked that a lot in our movie. He brought it to life. And so tonight, your favorite glam band that stunk and kind of ripped off Kiss is going to adorn the screen. And we actually shot the last scene of the movie here at the Chatterbox. We want to thank the Chatterbox for letting us do that. We had a ton of extras that night. Everybody was energetic. Everybody wanted to get throw up and stuff on them and we wanted to uh, just say thank you to all you weird people all right we're watching it and there's sirens of course so while that's playing over there it's birria taco time it's a beautiful night no, no. You are on a righteous journey. that went that went better than expected it went good i'm uh I got a little, you know, something here right now that's, uh, I'm, I'm sad to leave. I'm a big fan of Vinny and Julie and Luke and um, they, I make new friends tonight. I'll drop the name Brittany out there. Um, I'm gonna be down here a lot more. I just gotta take care of the mom and the husband and her, my husband, her husband, Ron, real quick. And after that, I'm gonna spend more time. We got like five movie ideas and I think I'm a part of all of them, definitely two of them. One that I'm currently writing. Ah, damn, I, it's, it's hard for me to just leave and hey, bye, see you later. Cause I'm not gonna see him for a couple months and I wish I could not live in Tennessee. I fucking hate Tennessee. I like Nashville. I can stand Memphis for a day. And I, I love these people, but I, I just, I uh, couldn't live here. I'm almost out of gas. My gas light just came on. And it just so happened that in 12 miles, hopefully I can make it that far, there's another Bucky's. Now, no, 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 I did not, I did not plan this out. No, it just happened to be there in now 11, 11 miles in 12 minutes and I'll be there at 1 30 in the morning and I will fill my tank at Bucky's now no 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 since I'm at Bucky's I might as well I might as well just stop in you know I'm not gonna get nothing to eat right Buckies yet. You don't see that very often anymore. 
Hell yeah, man. The perfect jean hoodie. The perfect jean.nyc. This is literally the best hoodie I've ever had in my life. It is so well made, it's so comfortable. I'm not saying that because they're a partner of ours. I'm saying it because the reason they are a partner of ours is because I wanted them to be because their stuff is awesome. Okay, I'm just going in just to walk around, get some steps in, okay? That's all I'm doing. I'm not gonna buy any sandwiches or anything else, unless it's for, you know, my mom or her husband, Ron, or somebody else. I'm not gonna eat anything. I'm not supposed to eat after eight o'clock. I don't plan on doing that. I do gotta pee like in the worst possible way. I wouldn't mind a drink or two or three. God, I gotta piss. If you look at this son of a bitch here, the second one I've seen today. This is an older one, even though this is a newer Bucky's because he doesn't have the red shirt. Mr. Bucky, you do take a lot of my money, man. I love Bucky. First things first, another clean, clean Bucky's bathroom. Look how clean the bathrooms are. You can get your own little stall when you're peeing. Yes, I'm peeing. So glad to be all peeing. Get over it. Yeah, you can get more of an idea without a thousand people in here what Bucky's is all about. The difference between sugar free and no sugar added. still has this is no added sugar no sugar so hmm I've never seen this section he's got all these meals at home oh, kind of more tenderloins and Cajun style tenderloins and jalapeno peppers wrapped in bacon chicken breasts up here with jalapeno what <laughs> look at all this these are for Ron Ron will love those I think Give them an opportunity to love them. Look at these pre-made, even their pre-made sandwiches look really good. Though I did just spend another $22. All I got were sugar-free chocolate-covered peanuts and a freaking water, okay? I got hours left to drive. I need at least that much. Our Bible equivalent describe their structure like this. An organization does not just happen. Sometimes a catalyst or disaster of sufficient proportion disturbs mass conscience.